I'm going to help you today on the perfect place value paper. That's a mouthful. The perfect place value paper. Now remember we have the ones column and the tens column, which the ones column is anything in this box right here. I'm gonna just gonna circle it, show you the ones column, and then the other one is the tens column. So we have the ones and the tens, and this is important for when we add and subtract two digit numbers. So I'm gonna change marker since I wrote wrote with that one. And we're gonna do this together. So the first one says, circle the number that has a four, that have a four in the ones place. So the ones is always in the, the far right column, the far right. Um, That's why we do left and right. Um, so we have 24, 24, fours in the ones column, we circle the four. 43, the fours in the tens, let's not circle that. The three is in the ones. 34, the fours and the ones, so we circle the, oh, we can circle the whole number. Don't just circle the, don't just circle the ones, circle the whole number. 14, the four is in the ones, circle that. 78, there is no four, so we don't have to worry about it. 65, no four, don't worry about it. 12, 12 doesn't have a four in either column. 34, the four is in the ones place, so we're going to circle the four, 34. And there we go. The next box says, circle the number that has a six in the tens. The six is, the tens place is this one right here. I'm going to just put a box around it. And actually I can just circle the whole thing, tens. So we have tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones. At some point we'll get hundreds, but tens and ones. So circle the number that has a six in the tens place. We are going to circle 61 because the six is in the tens. 36, nope. We're looking at the second, the first number, nope. It does not have a six in the tens. 90, it has no six at all, so we can just skip it. 66, yes, 66 has a six in the tens. 51, there's no six, so we don't have to worry about it. 36, ooh, we have ones, tens, the six is in the ones, so. We don't circle that number. 69, we have to circle that because the six is in the tens column. And then we have 16. Nope, the six is right there. We don't need to even circle him. Six is in the ones category. And then next, so you should have 61, 66, and 69 circled. And I wanna switch colors because that's just fun. And then we have the next one that says, circle the numbers that have an eight in the ones place. So again, we're looking in this column right here. And then we have the ones. We have ones, tens, ones, tens, ones, tens, ones, tens, ones, tens. Eight in the ones. Is the eight in the ones on 81? Nope. 78. Yes, it is. You hear it, 78. 98. Yes, because it's in the ones category. 42, no, 58, yeah. Because you say the number, you say the number in the ones every time you say the number. 27, nope, 88. If you hear the word eight at the end, that means you circle it since we're doing with ones category or ones place. I like to call them categories. It makes them sound more fancy. Um, and then 80. Nope, don't hear the don't hear it in the ones category. And then I'm the last one I'm gonna help you with. So, and then the last four are on your own. We'll see how you well you do. Circle the numbers that have a seven in the tens place. So seven in the tens place. We have sixty-five. Nope. Seventy-two. Yep. Seventy-two. Seventeen. Nope. 47, nope, 77, yep, 37, nope, 64, nope, 70. And I'm going to give you a hint on your home hundreds chart that you have, let me look for one real quick, the hundreds chart that you have in your binder can help you out. So if we're looking for us in the seven, the seven and the tens place, you're gonna go down to where the seven is the first number. 
So you're gonna come down here and you're gonna go all your any number in this row and the 70 right here. Well, is in the tens place. So let me erase this. I don't have an eraser with me. So I have to go find an eraser real quick. And any number that is, we're looking for the ones. So if we're looking for seven in the ones, we come and we do up and down. So like the next one, it says circle the numbers that have zero in the ones place. So the ones place is the second number. So anything that ends in a zero. So anything that is in this number row, or I guess this is a column, number column. And then if we were looking for any number that has a um, three in the, so it's anything in this row. And you have a numbers chart in your binder. Do the last four on your own.